Do you want a workforce that thrives and not just survives? Well, who doesn't? Here is a blueprint for all of you HR people around creating resiliency strategies. David Rock from the Neuro Leadership Institute says that the brain is actually hardwired to perceive a person or a situation as a threat, five times more as a benefit. So it's important that we tip the scale to the benefit side, and here are four strategies. Number one, show that you care. Employees disengage and ultimately quit their jobs because they sense indifference from their leadership. It is important that leaders often do care, but employees don't always sense it, so we have to communicate in a way they can receive it. Number two, walk the talk of the company values. Nothing sours a company culture more than when leaders promote but don't live the company values. That is why a culture of resilience has to start with the senior leaders. Number three, communicate the whole story. Confidentiality and legal issues aside, share the successes and the setbacks. Use both as an opportunity to learn and then apply what you've learned in the next project, process, or initiative. Be a company structured for learning and not just execution. And number four, extend support and resources from counseling to flexible work schedules. Be all in. Share the message that we are here for you always. So let's face it. You're hiring employees today you wouldn't have five years ago because the labor market is tight. Therefore, companies must invest more in developing their people in ways they never did before. And there you have it the HR Resilience Strategy Playbook. Questions? Ideas? Share them in the comments below. Let's reshape our workforce one strategy at a time.